Now, a while back, we did get cloud joined hosts, but we still needed AD authentication to log in. And then we got Entra ID Kerberos, but we still needed synced users. And those FS Logics profiles, time and time again, have kept us chained to Active Directory until now. Now your AVD cloud only users and guest users can sign into a session. FS Logics will start up and authenticate them through Entra ID alone. Their profile gets mounted and they can get to work. The host is Entra Cloud joined only, so no domain join here or hybrid join. And there's no way that this guest user could Active Directory authenticate even if they wanted to because this is my tenant and they belong to a different one. So here's how you can get started. In the Azure portal, we need to create a file share and that can be done in your standard or premium storage account. And sorry, we can't use those cool new V2 file shares just yet because FS Logics needs the SMB protocol and V2 doesn't support it yet. But drop me a comment of V2 if you want to see a video on that. Now with your share created, let's think about how this whole authentication thing works. When you sign into AVD, the FS Logics agent will look at the registry settings on that particular host and it will look at your file share. Now, if you don't have a profile, it will try to create one and then mount that to the host. If one exists, it'll mount that one. So the file share needs to be accessible over the network and available so you have the permissions to get into it. That happens by validating your credentials using the Active Directory KDC. And then you'll get a ticket granting ticket. FS Logics then requests a service ticket from the KDC to access that file share. The KDC issues the service ticket and FS Logics presents the service ticket to the file share. The file share verifies the ticket using Kerberos again. And if everything is accepted on all sides, FS Logics is allowed to access the file share and do its thing. So how can we do all of that without Active Directory? Well, in steps our hero, Entra ID, and it's going to replace all of that KDC stuff with a cloud-based Kerberos authentication, which means no more NTLM, no more Active Directory, no more synced users. Back here in the file shares, click up here where it says not configured. And then you need to click here to enable Entra ID Kerberos. And that's going to replace our traditional KDCs just by checking this box. And do not enter any of your domain information here. That would be for a hybrid environment. And we want this to be cloud only. Just click save. Now scroll down here to the bottom and enable the default share permissions and you can give it the SMB contributor permissions, or if you're in a more secure environment, just reader only. And that's all you need to do on the file shares. Now jump over to enter ID and go to app registrations on the left. Find the name of your storage account and then go to API permissions right here. Now you need to click to grant admin consent and that's it for the cloud. On your host side, make sure that the Win HTTP auto proxy and IP helper services are running, which is the default for Windows, but just in case you customize your services, we need those too. And all that leaves is configuring FS Logics to use Enter ID Kerberos. Now this can be done in a lot of ways. For example, you could use the AVD custom image templates, starting from last month's template, just to make it easier, and then clicking next until you get to the customizations. You can find your FS Logic settings and just make sure it's using the correct UNC path to the file share. And then you can check this box to use Entra ID Kerberos. Now there's actually a couple more things that we need according to the docs here. And that's not really a part of custom image templates yet. So you could just remove the FS Logics here completely and go to use your own script. And this is out on my GitHub in my AVD repo here in the PowerShell folder. And that's the file that you want. So just copy that URL and paste it in here. And that'll configure all of the FS Logics best practices along with all the Kerberos settings that you need to make this work. But you could also run a script like that directly on the host when they're built using the VM extension. Or we can use Intune. And you do that by going to the devices section and then configuration. And let's create a new policy. 
This will be from Windows 10 and later as the platform. And for the profile type, go to the settings catalog. Give it a name and a description, then click next. And you want to click right here to add your settings. First, search for FS Logics, and then we want the profile container. Now there's of course a lot to choose from, but the only required items are enabled and VHD locations, which is where you put your file share. Then do a search for Kerberos and you'll need the cloud Kerberos ticket retrieval to be enabled. And that's what makes the whole thing work. Oh, and just a side note, if your hosts are still have a line of sight to your AD domain, or you plan on having your AVD environment access on-prem resources, your Active Directory KDC is going to try to authenticate FS Logics, and it's gonna fail. So we need to specify Enter ID Kerberos as our KDC just for FS Logics, which is in this section. And we're gonna define a Kerberos realm. Now, when you're done, close that flyout, then you wanna enable these things. And if you need to do the realm mapping, it should be done for the .file.core.windows.net, which is the Azure files, and that's gonna to resolve to kerberos.microsoftonline.com. Enable all the other things, especially the Cloud Kerberos ticket retrieval, and then paste in the UNC to your file share and click next. And here you wanna add your assignments, which should be a cloud-based group that has all of your session hosts in it. And then create. Now when your users sign in, you can have them check things in the terminal app and use the command klist and there's our file share using Entra ID Kerberos. And now all of you AVD admins can finally set up a truly 100% cloud-based VDI environment. But the next evolution of AVD starts right here. And happy learning.